What person did you watch turn into something they were not? I had a best friend who was honestly one of the nicest people on the planet, but due to depression and peer pressure from toxic people, she began shoplifting and getting into drugs, she stopped caring about people and start doing such risky things that I couldn't even hang out with her without feeling unsafe, she ended up getting me in so much trouble one time, that her mom, who considered me another daughter, told me that we had to separate to protect me from harm and trouble, I miss her family cause they really were another family to me, but she refused to take responsibility and continued being put in dangerous situations. I have a friend from my childhood whose parents really went down the wrong path. I played sports with him and was in school with him from age 3 to graduation. His dad was always his biggest supporter and always sat next to my parents at every game. He was seriously such a nice guy. When we got into high school this kid's house was the hangout. Nobody knocked and at any given time there would be 5 to 10 kids hanging out there. In my four years of high school I watched his dad go from a fun-loving easy-going dude who loved his kids, to a guy who steals and robs to get his hands on any drug he could put into his body. We took in my friend to live with us when his dad skipped bail and was the subject of a statewide manhunt. It got to the point where he was doing drugs in the house with his oldest son. Seriously one of the saddest things I've ever seen. After my tight-laced, pearl-wearing great-aunt had a stroke, she turned into a foul-mouthed, swearing sailor, so sad, yet so flippin' hilarious. And former high school friend with 80 to 85-ish percent average in class, turned into a hell's angels in his 20s or 30s, murdered people, then died by homicide. Those events took place a very long, long time ago. One of my classmates grew up and decided he was going to be a cowboy, hat, boots, occasionally chaps, which is fine, except having grown up with him I can pretty safely say he's never worked or lived on any type of farm or ranch and I'm pretty sure he's never even ridden a horse, we are from a very small town and he didn't associate with the horse, he was the emo, punk kid, and everyone liked him for it, he was considering super cool, now he's a fake cowboy, and most of his hometown friends actually do farm or ranch, and we all know that he doesn't, I don't get it, but it's embarrassing embarrassing watching him throw around country jargon that doesn't make sense, I don't know why he's trying so hard and I don't know where this came from. Does anyone have a positive story of change because these are depressing? One of my best friends from childhood ended up with schizophrenia. I watched him turn from a killer musician loving friend and trendsetter into a delusional paranoid that refused to take psych meds but self-medicated with alcohol. My friend joined Mary Kay, need I say more? My mom. She went from your average stay-at-home denim jacket wearing Canadian mother who loved coffee and angel statues, and would listen to upbeat optimistic songs like Walking on Sunshine and Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow, and turned into an alcoholic leather jacket hoarder that partied every day of the week and collected band and beer memorabilia and only ever listened to music about drinking, beep and being on drugs when she met my stepdad when I was 11. Things went from her taking care of me and parenting me, to me having to grow up real fast so I could take care of her and parent myself. Oddly enough though the pandemic has turned her around again. Being in quarantine and not being able to have 20 people over every night has made her desire to drink flatline and also given her plenty of time to go through and clean out her house. I'm proud of her right now, but I'm also worried that she'll wind up reverting as soon as COVID's over and she can see her friends again. All I can do is hope that her progress will stick. Always been proud of my work ethic. I'm usually upfront, hardworking and hate gossip. I joined a large not-for-profit 22 months ago. The culture at the time was amazing but two months in there was a complete leadership restructure, all the way down to my manager. The new management chain all knew each other from another not-for-profit that the new CEO had led. He had deliberately brought everyone over to our much larger organization, firing existing dedicated staff and replacing with incompetent fools. The whole culture changed. Overnight it became beep and toxic. Common practice became to blame all shortfalls on either the former leadership or b the current board of directors who were trying to maintain the former positive culture if you didn't beep about those groups you became persona non grata in the eyes of leadership i watched myself join them over four months i trashed my former manager the kindest most gentle man you've ever worked for who gave me a shot there i 
trashed the former general counsel, an amazing woman who sacrificed a seven-figure salary in a large law firm to come and support our charity, eventually I realized that I didn't like who I became and I started standing up for it, I called it unprofessional when the beep started and I refused to engage, three months later I got fired, management and their collaborators in my team conspired to fire me because I was the source of a toxic culture, now three months on I am working in a new company, I am super wary about fraternizing with any colleague, but I can at least hold my head up high, I also called my former manager manager and the former general counsel, owner up to my pet and everything and told them what happened, I feel honestly blessed that they both forgave me. At school there was a lad, he was a nice guy, but school was not for him. He was the class joker and kept us entertained. He pulled some wild or crazy stunts and was uncontrollable. The teachers hated him and he was often in trouble and being suspended. Towards the end of schooling he was never in and kind of dropped out. Like I said he was a nice lad, not a bully, plus his home life was not very good at all. We all thought that he would not amount to much. Fast forward 10 years, he has a nice family, married with two children, lives in a nice house in a decent area, runs his own business which looks to be doing very well and he is very well respected in the community. Sadly this year he was in a car accident and died. My roommate, when he first came in, he seemed nice and everything. Turned out he was a manipulative liar who played victim and stabbed all of my roommates and I in the back and talked to us like we were stupid. He's leaving tomorrow and I'm really glad. Basic training. We all had our heads shaved, wore uniform, etc. Sweetest guy in the squadron. Super nice, thoughtful, soft-spoken, first day wearing civvies, civilian clothes. Dude walks out with black lipstick, spiked dog collar, and some angry t-shirt. Day I realized that you can't judge a book by its cover. Serious comment here, my mom, for real, one day I was her world, her little princess, and we did everything together, the next, she discarded me faster than a grocery store receipt, my mom was my best friend, but still a mom as she should be, then after she was diagnosed with lupus in late 2007, something, snapped, with her, she stopped caring about literally everything, everything we once enjoyed, I loved her so much, very, much, she stopped looking at me like she used to, and stopped hugging me and telling me she loved me like she used to, my father was a low-life alcoholic freak train smoking abusing asshole and didn't help our home life why my mom allowed him to still be there is beyond my understanding after some unfortunately more traumatic family events unfolded sorry i won't discuss here she became a monster i eventually moved in with my aunt and uncle adopting me at age 13 she told me i was no longer her real daughter anymore because i was adopted under a new loss T name, I love my aunt and uncle, but I miss my mom still, I know deep down it'll never be like it once was, ever again, why mom, just, dot why, 3 edit, heart with ribbon thank you for all the kind words, wasn't expecting this to get as much recognition as it did, I went to sleep with tears, and I woke up this morning happy, knowing the fact that I'm just a random person having troubles, and there are kind people out there willing to read, listen to me, I know I'm not the only one who's been down this road, I really do wish the best for those people, and can find, fill the void left behind by the people who who hurt them, my amazing now family, and boyfriend too, has supported me and been there a lot, we have been in a healthy stable relationship for about 4 years now, as they say, time heals the wounds, but some remain scars, I hope you all have a lovely day, night and stay safe out there. Looks in mirror. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.